I am going to talk about that equation which is quite interesting what we call it v equals square root of 2 gh if you are familiar with some fluid dynamics that equation is known by Torricelli's equation Torricelli was the student of the great Galileo in 1642 what happened people put a pump in a deep well and the pump was not able to pump so Galileo sent Torricelli to investigate and he came up with that equation which is fundamentally correct V the velocity of the jet G is acceleration due to gravity if you are familiar with that H is the height well that equation is really a mixed blessing process control companies made tons of money beyond that equation but in the same time I am claiming that a lot of machines shut down because they have been buying the wrong product they were not able to meet their requirement sheet formation sheet strength and so on because they have been buying the wrong product they didn't know where they are and a typical uh, example is that curve over here over here it is a plot between jet to wire speed ratio jet to wire speed ratio the relationship between the jet speed and the wire speed again is formation index or sheet strength properties fiber orientation MED to CD ratio and so on when you talk about sheet formation development just sheet formation ideally you like to see the jet is equal to the wire speed what we call it unity that's the optimum condition if it is faster than that the jet speed is faster we call it rushing you are familiar with these terms if it is lower we call it dragging but how do we know that you what you have that jet speed is really exactly the same like the wire speed well if you are running here the process control system is telling you that you are rushing I can perform the calculation and walk into you and tell you well you are dragging my friend well you know then you can say well I'm going to go to the optimum conditions everyone here is talking about then you will be heading in the wrong directions you will do, you don't know where you are and instead of heading north you'll be heading south and vice versa and that makes you know very very big confusion in the paper industry you can say well I hit it right in one grade and so on but then when you are running the machine at two o'clock in the morning well you know you make a great change different flow rates different speeds different things you are not in a position really to work in a trial and error approach to hit it at that jet to wire speed ratio then I'm going to talk to you how you calculate you know well you are not really going to do this calculation papyrus perform this calculation and give it to you in a handy form what we call it uh, papyrus head box process settings relaxation tables relaxation so the operator should relax he doesn't have to go and fish you know to, uh, work in a trial and error approach and of course it is known in the paper industry as papyrus head box relaxation table along with that line in my experience these are some case studies over here here is sheet formation you know before and when you do things right the way I explain it to you before here is the results I hope that you can appreciate the results from here to there and these are different mills which I have been uh, helping them out along uh, these years